What's up everyone? Today is a sad day for us as today we're having to leave Alaska. The snow line is slowly creeping down the mountains and we do not want to get stuck here over winter. Even though the trek from Toke to Destruction Bay is only like four and a half hours, it's some of the worst roads we've ever driven on. There's potholes and frost heaves all over the place. So you're constantly ducking and diving and weaving and trying to dodge potholes the entire way and it's really pretty exhausting so i don't know that we'll actually be going much further than that today but yeah before we do that we're going to have to stop in fill up with some gas get propane and also fill up on water variations and they're all kinds of combinations it's kind of stressful riding even riding much less driving on these roads so I'm glad I'm in the passenger seat and not in the driver's seat for this stretch on our way to Alaska all the mountains that we are currently seeing had no snow on them and now they're about halfway down the mountain they have snow on them and fresh snow so all it does is just really solidify our decision to leave Alaska unfortunately we don't want to get stuck there as much as we loved it and didn't want to leave. It was kind of depressing to leave and sad and we just didn't want to make this journey but mother nature told us otherwise so here we are. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Vehicle? Yes. Okay, where do you both live? North Carolina. Okay, what were you doing up in Alaska? Just visiting. Any pets with you? Yes. yes. What pets do you have? A dog. <laughs> sure. Oh, you have a little dog? Yeah. <laughs> Is your dog a potato and your baby? Yes. Alright, have a safe trip. Alright, thanks. thanks so much. You're <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody loves Gabby. Yo, know, seriously, the two cars in front of us got surged. We had a pup and we didn't, so bring a cute dog with you and you'll be good. <laughs> I've seen so many other YouTubers say that like, oh, we had a, such a hard time crossing the Canadian border. It was like so easy on the way here and on the way back. She was a lot more thorough than the guy on the way here. But um, all of the border crossings have been like super easy. So I don't really know what these other people are up to. We just made it to Destruction Bay. We're finally done with all of the awful roads and we found a pretty sweet campsite. Look at this place. But we're starving, it's getting kind of late so we're going to make a little bit of dinner. And by dinner, I mean heat up this massive burrito we had left over from earlier this week. It's probably really hot. It looks really hot. <laughs> Especially those front pieces. What's up everyone? Today we're kind of getting a late start because last night when we were taking Gabby out to go to the bathroom, we ended up seeing the Northern Lights. So we stayed up for the better part of the evening taking photos of those. So that was pretty awesome. We ended up staying at Kulani Lake, which is right next to Kulani National Park and Preserve. And it's just outside of the town of Destruction Bay, which is just like a town that popped up when they were building the Alaskan Highway. And it got its name from a storm that came through and like wiped out quite a few of the buildings and their materials and all of that. Anyway, fast forward to today, and we just drove down the road a little ways to get some service and kind of check the weather and see what's going on. 
It's looking like the aurora forecast for tonight is even stronger than it was last night. And we're checking the weather in the areas that we're going to be driving through. And it's looking like the weather is actually going to be better in the area that we're currently in, which is destruction base still. So I think we're going to hang out here another night and fingers crossed for a great aurora show. And yeah, it just looks like we're going to be hanging out for the rest of the day and heading back towards the lake and trying to find a campsite with good views of the northern sky. That way it increases our chances of seeing the aurora.